This is ridiculous. Mm. That's a big school of fish. Tiny, no, 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 no. What's going on everybody? We're spending today fishing. I'm out here with Dan and we got Tiny along with us too. And we're gonna target some smallmouth today. Uh, there's some walleyes and crappies in here too. So let's see what we can do. We got two live scopes running today. We got the new MG12 from Cast King. A bunch of other gear in here too. So we're gonna try them all out, see what we can catch. So we're out here today using this new MG12 from Cast King. What'd you see there, Dan? Big school of fish out there. What? I don't know what they are. Big school, look at them right there. That's a big school of fish. Well, let's find out what they are, Dan. So when I see a school of fish like this, that I don't know what they are, a really good bait to grab is just a, a glide bait of some sort, like a jigging wrap or a Northland puppet minnow or clam tika minnow, hyperglide, moonshine shiver minnow. Whatever it is, because anything's gonna eat that. I've caught northerns, walleyes, crappies, bass, every trout. Out there, they're not trout in this lake, but whatever it is, they're gonna eat it. So that's something I always like to have tied on for situations like this, because anything will eat that. In almost any water temp, any situation, you can get a fish to bite one of these. So tell me what you did there, Dan. Found them on the live scope. Just pitched a, it's a Northland puppet middle right at them. And I set the hook about three times because I watched them all just swarm right into them. But you gotta actually wait to feel them bite. And uh, this little guy just pinned it right to bottom. And I don't know, I think we'll get a bigger one for a fright. Whoop, good release. We're calling the school again. That thing, it shot up like halfway up the water column. Eat that thing. It's awesome. Look at that school of fish. Those are all walleyes. Oh, there we go. Dan's already on one. Not bad. This is ridiculous. <laughs> what do you think, Tiny? What's going on with all these fish, huh? Live scoping walleyes with a jigging wrap. See the school, pitch on the school, get sorted by the school, get eaten by the school. That was awesome. It's not even three o'clock in the afternoon, 2.50 in the afternoon, bright, hot, sunny day today, and we are catching midday walleyes with the live scope in about 18 feet of water, finding a school down on the bottom, and Dan is putting on a clinic. I need to start fishing. <laughs> well, there you go. I got to get in on the action, seeing that school of fish. You know, they're just kind of moving around here. We're probably chasing them a little bit, but we're spotting them on the live scope and then uh, just dropping baits right on top of them. And you can watch them swarm up at it as it drops on top of them on the live scope. And uh, this guy, oh, this is a nice fish. That's a nice walleye. Oh yeah. Look at that, not bad. So regardless of your stance on using live scope out here, obviously it's helped us catch these fish. There's no way we would have been fishing 
like this for these fish had we not seen them on the live scope. And having two live scopes in the boat might seem like overkill, but Dan's got his mount on the trolling motor, so wherever that trolling motor is going, that's where he's looking. So he's pulling the whole boat around if he wants to search around a little bit. Well, having this other one mounted back here, it allows me to search wherever I want to without having to turn the boat or having to turn the trolling motor. So when we want to chase this school around, a lot of times when we cast into it, we might push them, bump them, spread them out a little bit. I can search for them before Dan has a chance to move the trolling motor. Maybe he's still fishing or working a fish. I can search to see where that school has gone. So having two live scopes in the boat, not, not for everyone, but it certainly helped us today. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you got the dog in the boat and they're seeing us catch walleye after walleye. She's jealous. <laughs> Just dropping a jig down on them. We've tried uh, jigging wraps, uh, jigs and plastics, all artificial today. Just huge schools, all walleyes and all eater sized walleyes. This guy's a little small, so we're gonna put him back. This is crazy. That's just so much fun. We had one more cast, and so I waited until we had real good boat position on it. Saw the school on the live scope, dropped this jig right down on top of it, and there's a nice eater walleye to finish off our day. He's in two live scopes to target these schools of suspended walleye. Like if we were just running bottom bouncers or you know trolling down near the bottom somewhere, we'd never be finding these fish without the live scopes to see the school. At times it was 50 feet wide and going from, from the bottom up to uh, six, seven feet off the bottom. So heck of a day out here. Dan, this is a good time. We're gonna have fresh fish tonight.